Have you ever wondered what makes MOSFETs different from other transistors? Today we explore the internal world of MOSFETs, or metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors, and we'll discover how they operate and how they differ from current driven transistors in design and function. For this tutorial, we'll focus on the N-channel MOSFET. Much like its predecessor, the bipolar NPN junction transistor, N-channel MOSFETs use N-type and P-type material to form semiconductive paths along with an additional metal oxide layer. For terminology, the BJT emitter terminal becomes the source terminal in the MOSFET, the base becomes the gate terminal, and the collector becomes the drain. But what are P-type and N-type regions made from? Pure semiconductor materials like silicon are relatively good insulators because their electrons are tightly bound and are not free to move around. By adding impurities through a process called doping, P-type and N-type regions are created. These regions either have too many or not enough electrons, resulting in looser bonds between the atoms. N-type or negatively charged regions are doped with atoms such as phosphorus that have more electrons than silicon atoms. When the atoms bind together, the extra electrons are free to move and are attracted to positively charged regions. P-type or positively charged regions are doped with atoms that have fewer electrons than the silicon atoms. When the atoms bind together, holes are created due to the deficit in electrons. Holes are also free to move, but they are attracted to negatively charged regions. MOSFETs use a few additional elements to transform the P-type region between the N-type source and drain regions into a conduction channel when voltage is applied to the gate. A layer of metal oxide placed between the gate and the body substrate, along with an additional connection between the source and body, forms a small capacitor-like structure in the conduction channel. This is the metal oxide part in the term MOSFET. Applying voltage to the gate allows current to flow through the capacitor, which begins to charge and generate an electric field. This is the field effect part of the MOSFET term. Electrons gather at the oxide layer, filling in the gap between the source and drain. This is referred to as the conductive region. When enough electrons have gathered to create a path, current flows in the conductive region and the MOSFET starts to turn on. The conductive region has a small amount of resistance when the MOSFET first turns on. As the capacitor charges, the electron field becomes more crowded, with added conductive paths to follow. The resistance decreases until the MOSFET is fully on. MOSFETs have other characteristics that emerge from the union of P-type and N-type materials. Whenever an N-type material is joined to a P-type material, a diode is formed. With two N-type regions and only one P-type region, the N-channel MOSFETs have two diodes formed that are connected anode to anode. However, the diode connected to the source is shorted out by the source body connection discussed earlier and therefore has no effect on the operation of the MOSFET. The remaining diode connecting to the drain of the body allows reverse current to flow uncontrolled from the source to the drain whether the MOSFET is on or off. Additional external components are needed if current is to be blocked in both directions when the MOSFET is off. For basic operation, if voltage at the gate is higher than the source voltage, the N-channel MOSFET is in the on state. P-channel MOSFETs work in much the same way, but the N-type and P-type materials in switched locations. If voltage at the gate is higher than the source voltage, the P-channel MOSFET is in the off state. Now you understand the basic operation of MOSFETs, how they can be broken down into the materials used, and how those materials interact. For more information on MOSFET operation and additional data, you can search the vast selection of MOSFETs and other semiconductors on digikey.com. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe.